The Toronto Maple Leafs are in Boston tonight as the Bruins celebrate their final era's evening. They will be celebrating the 2001 to the present, which of course included a Stanley Cup win and a miraculous comeback against those Toronto Maple Leafs. We're going to be joined by an old friend of the pod today to discuss that as well as what may or may not happen prior to the trade deadline on a brand new episode of Locked On Boston Bruins. Your Locked On Bruins, your daily podcast on the Boston Bruins, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. What is up, Bruins fans, and welcome back to the Locked On Boston Bruins podcast. I'm your host, Ian McLaren, and this is a daily show where we discuss all things spoke to be. Today is Thursday, March 7th, and I want to thank you so much for making Locked On Bruins part of your daily routine, free and available on your favorite podcast app and on YouTube. We're part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. It's a game day. The Leafs are in town. The Bruins will be celebrating the 2001 to the present, which has included pretty much unparalleled success in franchise history, and it's fitting that the Leafs will be in town to witness that possible likely first-round opponent. And we're going to break it all down today with an old friend of the podcast, live from Long Island. It is Mayor Zilberberg. Mayor Welcome back. Hey, that's quite, I feel like the pod has grown so much since I was last here. We're on YouTube. Well, fetch. This is amazing. Yep. I've got a new background. I see that. Home office. All your hats. So All many. my hats. So many. And uh, full disclosure, I'm feeling a little worse for wear this morning because last night we went out to, have you ever heard of choir, choir, choir? No, I saw you tweet that, and then I tried to figure out what that meant, and then I fell asleep. So it's like <laughs> these two guys who started this thing like 13 years ago or something, and basically they just get up on stage and lead people through like classic songs or popular like songs. Dueling pianos without the pianos. Yes. They just have a guitar. One guy with the guitar, that's it. Oh, like and a- last night was – um, what's that? It's like a jam session sing-along. Pretty much, yes. Oh, my God, that sounds The so cool. lyrics on the screen. Last night was the 80s night. Oh, my God. And, uh, oh, my God. It was very fun. It was very, very fun. Okay, next time perhaps, I'm in town, I'm joining. Perhaps a little too fun for uh, for a Wednesday night, but but here we are. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Anyway. Yeah. So, Mayor, you were on the podcast quite regularly back in the day. It's oh, been long a, I mean, Actually, I think the... I did join from this house and I've been in this house three years. So oh, yeah. it's been about two, two years, two Probably. and a half years I was on the pod. Yeah, it's been a while. I, I, uh, my hockey fandom took some ebbs and flows. So. Right. Well, let's reintroduce you to the people. Uh, please share your hockey origin story. How did you get into this beautiful game that we love? question ever i don't know i've been watching hockey since before i can remember no that's my hockey origin story i'm from toronto i grew up in toronto we watch hockey like that's just what you do i never became a fan of the leafs i just am a fan of the leafs and i there's like no it's like when people are like i'm just not gonna follow a team anymore i'm like that's an option (laughs) do that like i can't i didn't choose this life to be (laughs) it chose me um that's just i've always i don't remember a time that i didn't watch hockey um i mean i grew up you know, a tr- we went to Blue Jays games. We went to Leafs games when the Raptors came. I was I was already a full person. So we went to Raptors games. We're very old. You know, like I've just always been a Leafs fan. And hockey is the sport that like makes the most sense to me. So it's the one I've stuck with the most. I mean, baseball makes sense. It's just boring. So I know. I know. I know. Hot takes. Um, and then I figure some of your listeners, viewers may not understand why Mayor the Leafs fan is from Long Island, but she's not. She's from Toronto. She just lives on Long Island now. Still um, say Toronto I, the right way. Of course. And I make it a point to be as Toronto as possible. So for example, today is Islanders Day at my children's Long Island school. Ooh. The Islanders are coming. I don't know if any, I think sometimes some of the like players on IR might show up, but it's like the, the 
spirit team. I don't know, whatever. Oh, okay. So they sent a whole note, you know, wear your Islanders gear, wear your blue and orange, or if you don't have any, just wear any sports gear. So what's my, what's my child wearing to, to school today? Uh, probably something John Tavares related. She's wearing a Leafs John Tavares shirt. Wow. And oh. she's so good. My oldest, my son is like too worried about like peer or whatever. He wouldn't do it. And I called him a loser, but um, my youngest is a, fierce feisty minx of a child um and so i put the shirt on and it's big on her because it's actually my shirt so she said you know tie it up so i did and then she goes to look and she comes back and she goes no tie it lower so they can see the number and i was like this is very much my child so she's cool in her john tavares 91 t-shirt i'm very proud and life of a long island torontonian that is a bold move for sure we both have uh, similar origin stories and that we're both born in Toronto. But of course, I famously am not a Maple Leafs fan. Never have been. It's never like will be. The biggest sticking point in our friendship, right? North York general. <laughs> Mount Every Mount time Mount. I drive by, I make a point to uh, tell my children <laughs> I was born there. So um, before we get into... Tonight's game or looking ahead at the playoffs. Tell me your thoughts on the current version of the Maple Leafs in general this season. Ah, you know, they're, they're okay. I was about to say they're fine. And then someone posted last night, like as I was getting ready for bed and like scrolling this like last 20 games played and the Leafs are like number two in the league in the last 20 games and only by a hair, like they're right there. And I think it's just like the ethos of Leafs fans to be like, oh, it's fine. They're fine. They could be better. They're fine. But they're actually like statistically good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I was like a Kyle Dubas fan. So I was sad when he moved on and kind of right. was like, hmm, I don't know. But you know, the, the Leafs are good. They're good. I, I, Four or five years ago, I was like, I miss the heyday of the Leafs when it was like Sundin and those guys. And now I'm like, I miss Zach Hyman and Naz. And like, I just feel like I'm old. That's my answer. These players are so young. They're they're good. They're good players. I mean, Austin Matthews is on pace for 72 goals. It's insanity. That is insane. They're good. Joseph Wall is going to be an amazing goalie when he grows up a little bit. Like, they're... And that's my feeling. It's like, it's weird being so much older than the entire team. I know. Yeah, that is weird. I know. I think the Bruins, there's a chance they're going to announce tonight that they're going to retire Zidane Ochara's number. Oh, that's Which cute. feels, but he's like my age. <laughs> I know. It's crazy. He feels like he's like ancient, like an ancient, wise man but I know, I know. he's so old a year older than me or something it's he's gonna crazy. come out with a cane <laughs> yeah yeah exactly no way he's still like running marathons like three marathons a week or something it's nuts well we are going to discuss more about tonight's game look ahead to a possible first round playoff matchup as the podcast uh continues here All right, if you are hiring this year, then you need to get on Indeed. Indeed is the best hiring platform, and they get you the highest quality candidates quickest. Uh, With Instant Match, as soon as you sponsor a post, you get a short list of quality candidates with resumes on Indeed that match your job description, and you can invite them to apply right away. Plus, you only pay for quality applications that meet your must-have requirements. If you're hiring, you simply need Indeed because Indeed is the hiring partner where you can attract, interview, and hire all in one place. Start hiring right now with a $75 sponsored job credit to upgrade your job post at Indeed.com slash locked on. This offer is valid through March 31st. Again, just go to indeed.com slash locked on to claim your $75 credit before March 31st. That's indeed.com slash locked on. Terms and conditions apply. But if you need to hire, then you need Indeed. 
All right, we're back with Continue. Mayor Zilberberg. As I unmute you, what were you saying there, Mayor? I was saying, can you explain this Eras thing to me? Like, are the Bruins Taylor Swift? What's going on? No, but they it's their centennial season. Ah. And they have been celebrating each era of the franchise. Got it. All the way back to, uh, you know, when it was first came about. And well, tonight... Like all red for one and then you wear like velvet for the other like is that how we're not quite it's they're all against original six teams i believe ah okay okay At home. Fine. and uh leafs are in town just so happens that they'll be celebrating the 2001 to the present <sighs> which started pretty dark but obviously lightened up which uh you know can i tell you that during that fateful 4-1 game I yes, yes. Pregnant with my oldest. I remember it. We still lived in the city. I was sitting on the couch in the apartment watching this game, thinking to myself, and I think I said out loud, this is, I always was sort of like a don't jinx things person. You know this. Yep. Because I've actually stopped talking to you for days at a time when you jinx things for me. Yes. But this was, I think, when it really cemented it because I, I said to John, like, oh my fucking God, sorry. Oh my God, we're going to win. And then, <laughs> so like it sits with me heavy yep. and that, and I was pregnant and he was like, you're going to upset the baby. And I was like, I don't care. He needs to know. <laughs> <laughs> I made the um, mistake of texting congratulations to my brother-in-law for, uh, for the it's victory. It's all you. You do the same to me. You do And me. Uh, even he not. was like, he didn't, re he responded with like, no. Not accepting it, it's too early. No, exactly. You are then, so good uh, at this. <laughs> I don't think we talked for a couple weeks after yeah, that. I have done the same to you. You are so bad at this. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. The same thing happened in, when was it? 2019, maybe, when the Leafs are up 3-2. We had this big Easter gathering. Oh, God. Extended family. The game was on, game six in Toronto. The Leafs won that game, and I was... I had to like sneak outside and like. I was in Toronto for that game. I quiet was celebration. Right? Yeah. No, I was. Yeah. I. Well, anyways, whatever. You jinx things for me. You do it on purpose. I'm convinced. I mean, it just happens. <laughs> okay. Which brings right. us to the fact that yes. Toronto, Boston. I mean, Florida is very, very good, and they just added Vladimir Tarasenko yesterday. So I'm assuming that they are going to finish first in the Atlantic Division, their first overall possibly, which I kind of love because hopefully they, uh, the President's Trophy curse comes back to bite them. But that would set up Toronto, Boston in the first round. Boston seven points ahead of Toronto right now. But Toronto has Toronto, two or three games in hand. Uh, they have two games in hand. Okay. So really, really, really. Boston did beat them earlier this week by a score of four to one in Toronto. It's the not, today we kind of do a little um, role reversal because I'm not super confident in the Boston Bruins. I'm never and confident. should never be super confident in Toronto. No, never. So tell me why you think the Leafs won't win in the first round against the Bruins this year. Because they can't. Shake the monkey on the back. Last year, they didn't have to, and they got past the first round. And it was, like, the highlight of my year. Um, but I remember. Year? Life? Oh God, I remember coming downstairs and screaming, and I fell on the floor crying. Oh, my God. I'm serious. I, like, sat down, and then the beast uh, dog. I have, yeah. I don't know, I have two dogs. One is a giant hundred pound great dane mix and so he was like what are we excited about and yeah. like jumping on me <laughs> anyways um they can't they can't even tuesday monday what day did they play each other monday's game monday monday yeah, monday yeah. monday's game like they can't get out of their effing heads with the bruins they're just they can't do it i don't know i don't know what it is they can't do it they're not i, I an, a I would be happy to never play the Bruins in the playoffs ever again. I mean, I can't, we can't get there. What would it be if it was, if it was back to the one versus eight right now, Boston and Toronto are two and four. So 
I hate this stupid playoff format. I wish they would just go back to one versus eight. Under that format, it would be Boston versus Tampa Bay and Toronto versus Carolina in the first round. I would so, take that. I would take that. Now, I am not super confident in the Bruins because they have been throwing leads left and right this year. They did it just the last night, or not last night, but two nights ago against Edmonton. They were up in the third period, blew the lead, lost in overtime. It was a back-to-back situation. And thankfully, Toronto played last night, so they're coming in to Boston on a back-to-back. But unless the Bruins do something to – Toronto's probably a better face-off team. Boston's very bad at face-offs. I just don't – this is probably Toronto's year to beat Boston. In the, my only solace is that God, I hate you. <laughs> that uh, it won't be their first playoff victory in the shootout era. I would, if that came against the Bruins, we would never hear the end of it. Oh, but yeah, that, that's true. If Toronto won last year. If they win again in the first round, it won't be. Plus, there's no Bergeron. There's no Krejci. They couldn't beat those guys. Right. Um, I was gonna say injuries and stuff play a big big part in this true once you get to the playoffs anything can happen as we yep. depressingly saw last year and can Florida Panthers I was actually I just hope everyone has fun and by everyone I mean me no, I don't <laughs> I don't I don't want everybody to have fun I was actually I was at a family wedding I think the night the Leafs lost to the Panthers and uh where were were we? T- I think yes. You probably sent me a message, and I probably said whatever. Yes. <laughs> and the, this family that had the wedding, they have a neighbor who is a like a massive Bruins fan. So we've bonded over the years when we've seen each other, and we were like secretly high fiving each other when when the Leafs lost out on the dance floor. It was uh, yeah, it but was I didn't feel like Austin did any better. <laughs> they did not. They did worse. Um, <laughs> they had a three one series lead. They lost to the Panthers. I think the Panthers are are the team to beat. Yeah, which is so be- weird. Hockey doesn't belong in Florida. Sorry, that's rude of me. Hockey wow. belongs everywhere. That is a very hot take. hockey. I'm just bitter. Yes, I understand. It's also like you look at a Panthers game, and and even when they're not playing the Leafs, it's like all Leafs fans in attendance because no. all the Steelbirds. I work with someone who lives in in Miami area, and I've been <laughs> trying to convince her to go to Panthers games, but apparently the rink is like. She lives right across the street from where the Miami Heat play, but the Panthers rink is like 40 minutes away. Yeah, no, Miami it's Heat. not. It's by, but I think it's by the, um, Sawgrass Mills Mall, which is like not actually Miami. It's I know Miami because I am a Toronto Jew and therefore my grandparents uh, were students. <laughs> so I spent half my life there. <laughs> I've never been, never been to Florida. Can you really? believe it? Never. I've never been. People from Ontario who'd never been to Florida. I don't think I've been further south in the states than like philadelphia isn't that crazy weird camden new jersey philadelphia that's the furthest i've ever been so never been to florida i mean never not missing much right now anyways anyways we digress (laughs) we gave my family the plague last week (laughs) oh yes yeah so i'm not going i'm not going to florida Okay, so anyways, the Bruins are going to lose to the Leafs, and the Leafs are going to lose to the Bruins, and somehow yes. everyone's going to lose, and that's just what's going to happen. That's the same tonight. Yeah, I believe that will happen tonight. Uh, we're coming off a of back, and we had to travel from home, and it was OT. Yeah, and was, there's just no. That was the thing with the I Bruins the other night. Blue. I don't know if you saw that picture of Austin Matthews in the post game. His like whole no. nose is red. I'm like, Ooh. oh god. <laughs> yeah. I know Connor Timmins has mono. I know. I think he's over it though. The Bruins the other night, when they came from Toronto to Boston, they didn't get into like 3 a.m. So yeah, hopefully that's the same probably. Hopefully the Leafs. And then hopefully somebody pulled the fire alarm in their hotel. You're such a settled, <laughs> and then uh yeah. I hope so they're then, all asleep right now. Yeah, probably. We are going to touch on the trade deadline and talk about maybe some more fun stuff uh here as the podcast continues but first we have to get to a couple more ads so let's uh jump to that oh wrong button (laughs) 
All right, we're talking about factor meals here on the podcast, and uh, here's what you need to know about factor. Eating better is easy with factors, delicious, ready to eat meals. Every fresh, never frozen meal is a chef crafted, dietitian approved, and ready to go delight in just two minutes. You'll have over 35 different options to choose from every week, including Calorie Smart, Protein Plus, and Keto. Also, there are more than 60 add ons to help you stay fueled up and feeling good all day long. So, what are you waiting for? Get started today and get after your goals. Head to factormeals.com slash locked on NHL 50 and use code locked on NHL 50 to get, you guessed it, 50% off. That's code locked on NHL 50 at factormeals.com slash locked on NHL 50 to get $50 off. 50% off, I should say. Sign up and save. We've done the math. Fact. Factor is less expensive than takeout, and every meal is dietitian approved to be nutritious and delicious. All right, let's talk about your retirement needs now. And did you know that even if you have a 401k for retirement, you can still have an IRA? Robinhood has the only IRA that gives you a 3% boost on every dollar you contribute when you subscribe to Robinhood Gold. But get this, now through April 30th, Robinhood is even boosting every single dollar you transfer in from other retirement accounts with a 3% match. That's right, no cap on the 3% match. Robinhood Gold gets you the most for your retirement thanks to their IRA with a 3% match. This offer is good through April 30th. Get started at Robinhood.com slash boost. Subscription fees apply. Uh, This claim as of Q1 2024 is validated by Radius Global Market Research. Interest involves risk, including loss. Limitations apply to IRAs and 401ks. The 3% match requires Robinhood Gold for one year from the date of the first 3% match, and you must keep it for five years. Robinhood Financial LLC is a registered broker dealer. Woo! That was a mouthful. We're back. <laughs> How are your retirement needs, Mayor? You all set? You can't make a mouthful joke, Ian. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Thursday morning. It's too early for that. <laughs> How are my retirement? No, my retirement needs aren't set. I'm worried about college for my kids first. Uh, yes. That's all set. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> yep. That's, nice. that's that's a relief. That was morbid, though. I mean, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, that's all right. This is um, what they bring me on. I have no filter. Moms and health. It's a touchy, touchy subject yeah. these days. Yes, I know. I know. I mean, listen, if anyone knows. Shout me, out to moms. We love you. Hi, am. And uh, so trade deadline. What do you expect the Leafs to do, if anything? I am looking at a Toronto Star headline right oh. now. It says. Better than the sun. The Leafs are handcuffed at the trade deadline, and it's Kyle Dubas's fault. Wow. Now that's that. what the headline says. So, th- oh, this is what I tweeted yesterday no about fools handcuffing. It's quite a quite yeah, a morning. I mean, we're, we're having fun. I said yesterday that I really want the Leafs to make a trade, not because I have any strong feelings about trades, but because I'm bored and need something to talk yeah, about. That's that's true. I, I don't know. Like, do they need? A right-handed defenseman, yeah. For the last forty years, like that's they've no. always needed. I, I, I don't know. like. What am I gonna? Are there any? No. So what do I? I trades are like either you're gonna do something major, like when they traded for Ryan O'Reilly, you know, like that's a big trade. I like that yeah. trade. But if they're not, if it's not gonna like significantly change the shape of the team, I don't. I don't. Yeah. Talk- I mean, yeah, every team is like, we need this seventh defenseman, this winger. No team is ever going to have a perfect roster. Like, it's just yeah. going to happen. Well, the Bruins were close last year, and we knew what, we know what happened last year. Yeah, right, exactly. The perfect roster isn't the formula either. Yeah. There's like the intangible. So, I, I mean, I want a trade because they're fun and exciting, and, like, it's fun to, like, shake things yeah. up and talk about. But do I actually think that they need to do anything right now? 
to be better. No, they're number two in the league in the last 20 games played. That's yeah. significant. <laughs> Speaking of spice, the Bruins apparently are talking uh, three-way trade with uh, Vancouver and three-way. Pittsburgh, <laughs> which would mean Jake DeBrusque going out, which I don't necessarily love if they're going to play the Leafs because uh, he has a propensity for scoring big goals against the Leafs. But – I don't know. Don Sweeney apparently has some things up his sleeve, and uh, I'm excited to see what they're able to accomplish. Trade deadline's on a Friday, so, I mean, tomorrow's a, a write-off work-wise. Yeah. Uh, be refreshing. I still hate calling it X, but Twitter. No, um, and uh, we'll keep it locked. If anything does break, I will jump on, do instant reaction on the YouTube channel. So reminder to everyone to subscribe. Mayor, we're going to end with some fun stuff. We always like to talk um, show recommendations. What are you What are you watching these days? Anything? You're going to kill me. Ian is constantly like, you need to watch this. You need to watch this. And I'm like, I'm so Low sorry. Low Horses. You need to watch Low I'm horses. binging 12 seasons of Hawaii Five O right now. Oh, my God. <laughs> How is there 12 seasons of that show? I, I don't like, know. Uh, there might a new be one? Like, no, the, like the one from 2004. Like um, his buddy from Lost is on that show? Yeah. Daniel Day yeah. Came. Yes. It's so yeah. good. <laughs> it's so good. Okay. This is my thoughts on We're TV. We're in the golden age of television. Okay, Why are you watching during, that? During the pandemic, like lockdown-y times when we watched Ozark and we watched yep. Queen's Gambit and all the shows that we loved, mm-hmm. I had nothing else to do. <laughs> so I watched TV That's all true. the time. Yeah. Yep. And like... I I don't have I watch Reacher. That's like a must have for me. When Reacher's yep. out, I watch Reacher. You know, like there's certain shows that I'm gonna hit, but I don't have the wherewithal. The boys, to- the boys is coming back soon. The boys in June. That's not so soon, but like, is it not till June? God. Wasn't it June? I thought you. Just yeah, maybe. It. Yeah, I think so. But so like when I sit down to watch TV nowadays, it's because I want to like shut my mind off and not have to invest, and that's why I binge watch Hawaii Five O because it's ridiculous. Fine. Well, you have <laughs> to watch Slow Horses because it's one of the best shows on TV and it's right up your alley. Okay. And okay. summer when one of my kids is away at camp for two months, I'll have We time. started um, Shogun, which is amazing. I, that that? Is really interesting. Oh my gosh. It's so good. But uh, And we've also been watching. Reacher. I did What's love that? I loved Reacher. You know, I love my Reacher. Yeah. Yes. Sorry, I, I, know I don't put it in like the prestige TV category necessarily. No, but it's but... fun and exciting and good. And I'm a Reacher purist. I read, I've read all the books multiple times. Right, right. Do you watch Curb? Have you ever watched Curb? Curb Your Enthusiasm? I have watched Curb, but not by my own volition. Why? It's the yeah, best. Yeah, adult in my house enjoys that show. Oh, gosh. I have been made to it's... watch it, but it's not my, I was not a Seinfeld fan either. Either. No, we don't have to be to do enjoy. But it's not I just like humor. I also don't like Nathan. What's his name? Nathan, the guy Nathan. who does like the similar type of humor. Nathan, Nathan Fielder. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, we we die we diverge on those yeah. opinions. Yeah. But like um, action uh, type. Did you watch? Um. Oh my god! Why is the name the the French one? The French one with the oh. Lupin? Yes. Did you watch Lupin? I haven't watched the newest Neither episode. Neither have I, but, but, I, but I used to watch it, and I like Lupin. I have been uh, watching Sopranos for the first time. Okay, so you're going back in time, too. Oh, we both mm-hmm. watched The Bear. Yes, The Bear. That's coming Bear's back. Bear's Prestige TV. That is. That definitely is. It won a bunch of awards for Best Comedy. I'm not sure it fits in I that. Know, I don't know why, bit. but I don't Whatever. I think it has to do with the length of the episodes, but. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Anyways, so much to watch. But <laughs> you're a big tonight, TV buff. I'm not so I, much. TV yeah, anymore. I'm a big TV guy. I did. Masters didn't... of the Air is the other one I'm really loving right now. What like is the, Masters of the Air? It's like oh. Band of Brothers, but in the air. In the air. I yep. did watch. We watched. We sat down and watched a movie a few weeks ago. I watched oh, yeah. Dune for the first time. Which one? Dune. Oh yeah, right. You're gonna see uh, Dune too. Yeah, because apparently we're gonna go see Dune too. So. Um, but the fun thing that I did recently, I'm going to just throw this out there is we went to Disney, Mm -hmm. (laughs) took my kids. We spent a lot of time in, uh, star Wars. (laughs) Very cool. It was great. And a lot of fun. So we're big, we're big nerds. Hogwarts Is that, is the Hogwarts around there? 
Universal. We didn't go to Universal. Oh, so. okay. Oh, yeah. I guess Disney. Yeah. Star Wars. But um, yeah, no, I'm not so much. I don't watch as much TV as I used to. So I'm sorry. Well, I'm, it's, I'm too busy. I'm on the PTA. I'm on like four committees. I work full time. My children don't go to bed till like 930. <laughs> yeah, my kids are a bit older. So they just kind of do their own thing. Well, mine do too, but they're annoying. <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> Although, what time does I, I remember when Henry used to go to bed at like seven? <laughs> mm, it's now it's now closer to eight. Okay, mm -hmm. I remember you'd be like Henry's in bed, and I'd be like, my kids are eating dinner. He'll read some uh, wimpy kid, and then and then he's go to such bed. A doll. Yeah, he's he's a nice. My, I was fighting Amelia to go to bed last night, and it was like nine forty-five, and she's like, "But I want to read," and I was like, "You shut up and go to sleep." <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Anyways. Yeah, that's a struggle. Anyways. Let's um, chirp each other during the game tonight. Yeah. What's your prediction? Right. What's going to happen tonight? The Final Leafs score. Are gonna, the Leafs are not going to start on time because that's what they do. And then they will go down by two, battle back to tie it, and then give up a back-breaking goal. Oh, in the gosh. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, if they, the Bruins take a lead and cough it up, Bruins Twitter will explode once again. But if they win, it would be I don't of think anyone's going to show up on time because there is a pregame ceremony. I, I'll i say this for Bruins fans. My one hope for tonight is that uh, Nathan Horton is in the house because he was so instrumental in that win in 2011. He's kept a low profile ever since, but he was featured on the wallpapers that they – released yesterday so i would love it if, he, oh, if they're dropping it. hints that'd be really cool yep anyways mayor thank you so much for uh for jumping on thanks for having me you can find mayor on x at uh what is it mayor out loud and which is unless people have like speech to text it's really not out loud they're just reading but anyways well but i it's metaphorical oh yeah. i see i see <laughs> And I will be back tomorrow to talk about tonight's Bruins win and also now break down. Like, why, wait, why is Walton Goggins trending on Twitter? Uh-oh, is he dead? We love Walton Goggins. We do, we do we love, love Walton Goggins. Goggins. I love Walton Goggins. Okay, Speaking we're going to figure this out. Walton Goggins. No, new Walton because... Goggins trailer just dropped. Oh, there's a new Fallout trailer. He's oh, in he's this so Fallout good. show. This man is brilliant. But he has no nose. I love him. If you love him, you need to watch Righteous Gemstones as well because he's amazing on that show. Okay, I'll watch something with him in it. I hope that they do another Justified and he comes back. It wasn't well, the same. It was great. It was same without him. Yep. All right, Mayor. Thanks so much for jumping on. Everybody, subscribe if you haven't already. we will be back tomorrow to break down whatever the Bruins do tonight and tomorrow. And trade Enjoy. stuff. Trade stuff. Always trade. Yeah, I probably will record after the trade deadline. Cause you should. Why wouldn't I? All right, friends. Thanks so much. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Talk to you tomorrow.